The following entertainment banter you're about to listen to may contain potty language. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, some boys and also girls, welcome back to Entertainment Banter. Oh, my name is Joel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I am Matt. <laughs> I'm like and I'll looking. be leading the pod from here on out. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I'm like, like, Joel, ladies and gentlemen. I, I was just about to ask, can you not hear me? Uh, you heard me do <laughs> no, the intro. No, I can hear you. You just can't finish the sentence. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, here we go. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. All right, Joel. How are you today? You, you, apparently, you coherent? I, no, apparently not. I right. thought I, I thought I was literally look at you, and you gave me this look like, <laughs> yeah, like continue, you know, like please? like grandma please? looking at you, and you know, and when she. Well, sometimes uh, you do these dramatic pauses, and I like I I tolerate them, but if you're gonna go more than three minutes, I I can't. That was know. not a dramatic pause. I would just <laughs> I just brain farted. <laughs> I guess. All right. Wow. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Well, welcome back to Entertainment Banter. My name is Joel. Joel, no, no more pauses, okay? <laughs> hey, what are we talking about today, Joel? Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go into our childhood, Matt. Okay. As Let's as always in this yes. world we live in, we wonderful world. Yeah, this wonderful world. Uh, let's let's look at like Matt, like Matt and I talk about Hollywood a lot, and we talk about. Well, I mean, that's mainly what we talk about is entertainment, right? That's that's the whole gig. That's that's the whole gig, the whole point. And we talk about our childhood a lot because that's what we we can. Well, we I mean, pull, pull and entertainment from. entertainment is what gave us the bug, right? Like when right. we were kids, we were watching entertainment, and then our careers advanced into that field, and absolutely now we're talking about it. This is what we wanted. So, and as you start seeing, as we grew, we grew up with certain things. Teenage yep. Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Transformers. We grew up with Power Rangers. We grew up with Dragon Ball Z. We grew the up Cosby with the Cosby Show. The Cosby Show. <laughs> and we grew up with Full House. We grew up with Bob Ross. We grew up a lot of things like that. And then, yeah. as of late, in the last probably ten years, what has Hollywood been doing? They ran out of ideas, so they're just going to keep remaking reboots, things. reboot, yeah. and then it draws from our childhood. Some things right. they do are questionable. Some things oh, they do are like Riverdale. I don't know what Riverdale is. What is that? Riverdale is that uh, teeny bopper show on the. I guess it would be the CW. I don't know if there's still CW is a thing, but it is. It I don't even know. Of, I, don't, uh, I don't know. What it's CW Archie Comics. For. Literally, Betty and Veronica comics. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, CW. What does that stand for? Kids. Warner Brothers. Yeah, I don't remember what it stood for. They change the names for these things all the time. I can't okay. remember now what it is. But so, so they like to remake things a lot. Hollywood is out of ideas, and they, they just want to dwell on this remaking process. And we've all seen it. Hollywood has been make, remaking or making sequels. That's all they do, right? Yeah. Yes, for the most part. Yes. In 2019, I can't name the name who it is because I don't know who it is. I can't remember. But some artist, some lone YouTuber, decided to make a dramatic trailer to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now, Fresh Prince is dear to my heart. I grew up watching that every day pretty much in the 90s. Yeah. It was the start of Will Smith's career, more or less, because, you know, his rapping didn't really go far. A little my, bit, yeah. Yeah. Well, he had earlier yeah. albums, yeah, at that time. And nod your head. No, so he... So Fresh Prince was the start of that. So this guy creates a dramatic trailer of it. And a lot of people create... I'm not sure if they're creating it you're obviously creating it to get views. You're obviously creating it to get um, exposure. You're creating mm-hmm. it to probably, hopefully, be involved in if if something like this could be made. Or you're showing your, you are trying to show your abilities of movie making, right? And I get that a hundred percent. It's a way you get exposure, and if it gets tons of likes and it goes viral, you can you get notice of you get attention from a lot of higher end people who may hire you for things. I've heard a lot of stories like that from YouTube. People got hired mm-hmm. to do a lot of high end things. And hopefully things they can still, you know, go to sleep at night and, you know, go to sleep. More right. or less. You know, you're not doing things against what you believe in. So, so, uh, so one of those cases, Mortal Kombat did that. Did you, I don't know if you remember, there was a pilot, small pilot for a realistic, more 
gruesome, more to the key, more to the story of, and I, there's not much story to the Mortal Kombat, but more to the game of Mortal Kombat, right? Did you see that trailer? No, some, but is this some, after the first movie was made? It was after the first two movies were made. This was like okay. probably within five or six years ago they did it. Maybe in seven, gotcha. it was a bunch of stuntmen, and they put it together. It was very well done. I thought it was better than all the movies put together. It was only two, obviously, Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, but they, they right. were really well. And then eventually someone used it and made it, made it into the new Mortal Kombat that was on HBO. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard that was really good, right? That's another, what I heard, too. Uh, yep, another thing, well. um, when Deadpool first was introduced in the um, Marvel, Marvel, the MCM, which is the Marvel Cinematic Movies, they introduced Deadpool in Wolverine Origins, and it was awful, right? But then yes, Ryan Reynolds was. took a bunch of people, and they made that small CGI clip of him being Deadpool. Yes. And yeah, submitted to Fox that. people, and look what happened. Fox made decided to take a jump into um, Deadpool as a rated R movie, and that was great. So now we jump into Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We were just talking about it a second ago. This guy created this dramatic drama. Who knows what he really wanted out of it? He wanted something out of it. Well, it fell into Will Smith's lap. And as of right now, they just casted the person who was going to play Will Smith. And I thought that was really cool how they did it. Will Smith um, called the guy personally on Zoom and told him he's a breakout actor. I think that's a great thing. I mean, if you're going for an acting role, that's being awesome. If it's new. Right. To get it, obviously, like, that's all the kid wanted. No pressure there, by the way. Oh, no pressure at all, you know. (laughs) But with that being done, the the show is being created. So we're we're getting a whole new reboot of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and I'm unsure how I feel about it because... From well, what we're did you explain what this one is? You said it's a it's a drama. This we haven't. Drama. I was just about to do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert: It's a drama. So go ahead, so, Joel. Tell them what it is. So Fresh Prince of Bel Air was a thirty <laughs> minute sitcom, and this new show Hilarious. is going to be called Bel Air. I like the idea yep. of it. It's called Bel Air, and it's going to be a drama. And that's why Will Bel-Air. Smith wanted to. Interesting. Okay. Will Smith wanted to produce it because he likes the idea of being a drama. Well, reading the article. Uh, the show is going to be based around modern day and modern day issues and um, experiences. So it's going to be a bit different than the 90s, quite a bit different, but still some of the same. Like we're still dealing with a lot of the same issues that then. Right. But who knows how they're going to portray it. But they're saying they need. Actually, very much the same issues, to be honest right. with you. And they're going to need, you know, they're going to need, according to the article, they need an hour instead of a half an hour to portray these issues and get them out how they want is- them. Is that a, a true hour because it's going to be on HBO Max it's, it's or, going to be or NBC on, or what? It's going to be on NBC, which is a possibility will be on HBO Max, but it, it sounds like it's going to be the 45-minute, 44-minute things. But that means the 30-minute sitcom is only like 21 minutes in reality. Are we sure about the, the name? Is it actually called just Bel Air? As of right now, it's being called Bel Air. That makes me feel better about it being a drama because uh, when you when you just give the stamp of the, uh, the name of the town, it... it it implies that it's about everybody that goes there. Right. It's not just about the Fresh Prince. The Fresh Prince character can be in it, but it's not just about him. Which if I they had called it Fresh Prince right. of Bel Air, still, I think that would have given me a bad taste in my mouth because, as you said earlier, I grew up watching Fresh Prince yeah. of Bel Air, and I just fell in love with the show, the characters, the family. Yeah. Uh, the comedy <gasps> aspects of it. There were some heavy hitter moments, but like overall, it was a, a fun show for the most part. Um, Absolutely, yeah. No, it's and so I don't know how I felt when you said, you know, it's gonna be a drama. So yeah, well, it's 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 Bel Air. It's gonna still have like the comedy in it, supposedly, according to the article. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, they want to. I don't know what I don't know what you would find funny in modern day uh, politics. In uh, (laughs) yeah, I mean, I don't find it funny at all. But I mean, maybe they'll find the humor where I can't see it. You do. You're just somber right now. (laughs) <laughs> you're so ridiculous <laughs> no um, they're, they're gonna follow the same life it, sound, it sounds like it's gonna start off in the same place we may even get a glimpse of his life in Philadelphia before we move to Bel Air uh, that would I wonder, be interesting to watch I wonder how the uh, the intro is gonna be is, is Will Smith still gonna rap is it gonna be a whole new rap <laughs> I got questions. I want to know about the rapping. I right. want to know about, are they going to recast Vivian halfway through the first season again? Oh, you're so are they, <laughs> are they um, what about um, Carlton's dance? Who's going to do that? Is that oh even a possibility? Gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
I mean, is Jazzy Jeff in it as a teacher? He's gonna have to be. I mean, it's gonna be based off the life still um, of sure, Fresh I'm Prince joking, of Bel Air. But know. It, it's just still like, what, what? What are you gonna do? I mean, I feel like Fresh Prince already hit on a lot of dramatic issues. I felt well the in feels. a fun, yeah, serious but fun way, yeah. Yeah, I, I get why they didn't want it in a half hour format. Everyone wants a longer show. Everybody wants a lot. Thirty minutes doesn't seem like a much of a show, but is this gonna be like a show? Like, so NBC right now has This Is Us. And that's ending. Yeah. So is yeah. this their is this their next drama series they're gonna try to do because they're losing This Is Us, so they want another tearjerker? Is this what their goal is? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, here's the thing, like I, I get you gotta fill these time slots, but I keep going back to this uh, I have to ask you, do you think it's a good idea? I mean, obviously Will Smith does, you know, and, and it yeah. kudos to everybody that likes it, you know what I mean? Sure. Whatever. I mean, for me personally though, I just you know, it might – you can't think of one show without thinking of the other. You know what I mean? And so, like, if you're watching this drama, I, I, even even if they're uh, – like, think about storylines and plots. Like, oh, that's not how it was in the first show. Like, oh, they change it up a little bit. You know, like, the mom isn't like that or, you know, the dad is more in the picture or he's not more in the picture. You know, it's uh, – it kind of changes how you view the original show when you see something like this because uh, I was – you know, like another example is like uh, Star Trek, you know, uh, everybody liked, you know, for the most part, the next generation. It was it was the next big thing in Star Trek after the original series. But now we've got Picard and a lot. I mean, I haven't seen any of Picard, but I mean, people are mentioning how they disapprove of it. They don't like it as much. And it kind of ruins the character of Picard because Isn't, they, it's not Patrick Stewart or is it? It it is it is him. So he's playing they him. Got him. Some, he got him again. Okay. Right, but what they're saying is, this show basically undoes all the quote unquote coolness that he had in in Generation. Supposedly, I don't know. I haven't seen it. But so that's no. what I worry about is when you watch a show like this. I know it's completely different off the mark. One's a comedy, one's a drama. But you even said there's supposed to be comedy in this. So I mean, I don't know. I don't find anything funny in today's society. Actually, to be honest with you, so. The idea of them doing a drama, it, it, it to me is going to be like another teeny bopper show. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't Which know. Which is fine I, if that's your I, cup of tea. No, I feel like it's going to try to follow the format of This Is Us where there is some slight humor, but it's not much. It's more dramatic and it's very drama and filled with today's issues and today's morals and ha- growing up. I don't know if you watched This Is Us. It's a, it's about... Nope. Uh, three kids that I mean it's 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 jumping around stories between times and you're following this family and the family they're supposed to have triplets and it's a white family back in the early 80s and one of them died before being born the red belica cord killed it so but out of coincidence there was another child there born they thought born the same day you find out other issues down the store I don't want to ruin this is us for you if you do fall into it but it's a black baby so then they adopt it so then they have it's two white kids and a black baby they're all the same age and they call the the big three and then you yep. see the troubles of them raising a black child and uh, going through all that and then he's adopted and he has to go through all that too so uh they're trying to cover the, all those issues and they do very well so i wonder if they're going to try to c- do that with uh with the new bel-air show it'd be interesting i mean th- this could be their right. next dramatic because this is us ends next year and this is supposed to air probably right after it to be honest so well fresh prince they're gonna still have it uh all um uh, a black family, correct? You don't think they're going to... I don't know. Right now, all I know is the actor they casted for Will Smith, which is all, as Will Smith, you know. So I mm-hmm. think that's cool. Um, the other big shoes to fill... I don't know if Carlton's that big of shoes to fill, but uh, the person who played Uncle Phil, that'll be some big shoes to fill. He, well, yeah, he passed. Um, yeah. The So did you say Will Smith is actually performing it, or is he just producing? I... You're going to see Will in it. You he, you don't think he's going to be in it? It's his show. You know, but no, I don't they, know. Ca- I mean, they casted his character already for this new game. He, pro- he, he probably, right, right. He probably, I mean, here's the thing. Like, he wouldn't do it. But would you want to see Will Smith's character as Phil, Uncle Phil? Oh, uh, Will man. Smith playing Uncle That's Phil. That's a thought. That's a real thought, actually. Maybe. That'd you know be very, I mean? like, that'd be would very be interesting. The one that's playing Uncle Phil. I don't know if he would be in that. I don't know I if he'd be chills. acting in this. I got chills. He <laughs> has a fan. You would, yeah. 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 No, no I don't. Be, I don't see really, him doing that. That'd be very interesting, but I don't know if he. No, I mean, I, he may step away. I mean, we. He produced the Kung Fu Kid. Yeah, I call it the Kung Fu Kid, the one with Jackie Chan and uh, <laughs> Will Smith's kid, the Karate Kid. Yeah, the, the new he produced that, kid, and yeah. he wasn't in it, so. 
Right. He well, that, but that makes sense. It. But it was for right. his son. It wasn't for him. But sure, get him on the map. Right. Um, didn't do much. What's for interesting him. too? Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, Pokemon. I didn't even recognize. Oh, that him was him, right? That's, that's part of people the best tell thing. me. I, I, I don't yeah, know. No, it people was. No, it was. No, you're right. It was him. But he was awful. Completely different. Done so. But if that was him, he did a great job in Pokemon. I thought he, I didn't recognize sure. him at all. Sure. Um, so Deadpool for PG. Yeah, cool. Interesting. Interesting. Um, thought is if they did a white family that will that would make kind of Whoa. sense in Bel Air, like Will you know Smith I mean? being adopted into like I guess Will's character going into a white the family, fr- the Fresh Prince being adopted into a white Bel Air family. Yeah, but a lot of the issues, but they're not uncle. Uncle. I mean, it could be an uncle, I guess. I don't know. Adopt any, anything's possible in these day, days and time. If you're doing modern, it's very more possible. But you're also looking at the a lot of the issues they had in Fresh Prince was the fact that they were a black family and he was a judge. No, and I there get were it. Issues on I that. get. It. Well, I mean, I'm you. You mentioned the fact that we're you know they're going to focus on political uh, current events and whatnot. There's, so there's folks on current. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got to mix the race. Undertones. Well, but you know what I mean. You got modern yeah. times. Well, guess what? It's all political right now. Uh, I mean, mixing races is the easiest way to create conflict nowadays, apparently. So I, I'm not saying they would do that. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I could, if it's going to be completely different from what the original show was, that would be a, a move that they would make. Cause you know, like how they have that rule where it's like, you know, like 30 or 60% of the show has to be completely different from the original. Sometimes that kind of right. that situation. And that'd be well, one way that you could would do you, it. Would you, would you, would you, I mean, you're already, I mean, you and I are already skeptical of this new show and I'll, I'll take yeah. a gander at it and you probably will in five years. I mean, it'll be a but, great drama. I'm sure it's just, it, it's one of those situations it's the stamp doesn't be. have to it doesn't have to say Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Right. Will Smith could have produced it. It could have had very similar themes and we would never have known. But because they put that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air stamp on it, I just can't get that out of my head now, you know. Right. But would you be upset like all of a sudden they made like Uncle Phil a white guy? Not Uncle Phil, but like a family like you know they do that. Maybe they change no, I everything mean, I, in a sense. Well, you know, just like everything else, right? I like right. tradition. I don't like when of course. they mess up my stories. So I would still prefer it to be a black family because I, what I appreciate about uncle Phil's character is he was the example of starting with nothing, working hard, making his way up, um, not embracing his culture, but not making it the excuse to fail. Does that make sense? And I know that right. sounds harsh, but Phil, uncle Phil said that all the time in, in his, in his mm. stories, like he's like, you know, I marched with the brother and he's talking about Malcolm X and right. you know, I, th- I think it was Malcolm X that episode he said he was marching with. Or, um, so uh, it's stuff like that. So like he embraces it, but he doesn't, um, but he also, you know, said respond, he taught responsibility to his kids and all this other stuff. So I thought that was, what was really cool and powerful about uncle Phil, like uncle Phil, in my opinion, was like probably one of the coolest role models in eighties, nineties television, to be honest with you. He, 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 I always remember him. You're never going to forget him. And no, he passed away this last year, right? I think it's been a couple of years now. I, I, yeah, yeah, but it sucks. But I, I really did enjoy his performances. Who didn't man? Like he, he was great. I'd just be curious who they cast. Maybe they've casted the others yet, but I have no idea. I, I, I'll, it was big news about Will Smith casting me. Well, would he you want to see cast him? But or maybe would you want to see original characters playing cameo roles? Like I said, high school teachers or something. Or do you think that well, would ruin if you, it? If you did that, then you're dealing with the fact that are we dealing with a new person or are we dealing with the actual will from fresh no uh, yeah so i would assume thing. it'd be i'm, I'm so, suggesting it as they're just new people so i know? would say that it's just people. it's a nod to the fans well that's the thing when you watch ghostbusters with all the female ghostbusters did you like right. seeing the other ghostbusters there as cameos well see that's a touchy subject because when the ghostbusters movie came out the the one with all the female cast i think i'm the only person especially in the world that liked it that liked it i thought it was really fun and well done um but what i was angry about but i was angry about was bill murray because the whole point of us not getting a book ghostbusters 3 with the original cast was bill murray but then he sells out and does a cameo for Wait, this he one. didn't he didn't want to do it? What was the what? I, I think for a long time he just was very difficult to get a hold of. I don't know if it was just, you know, timing or, was crazy. or what. But uh he, he like he always kind of felt like I felt like he 
it was implied that he washed his hands of the franchise. Like he's like, I've done it. I've been there. I don't want to do it again. Uh, cause then he's, you know, cause he was doing all his artsy fartsy movies, you know, like all the, yeah, whatever, know. the hotel life, one, life aquatic, aquatic life and yeah, yeah, all that crap. Right. So, um, so I don't know, but then he comes back for this and then he came back. I think he's come back for afterlife. So, or, uh, whatever this new one is. And I, uh, Dan Aykroyd as well. And I think Ernie Hudson too. Um, and it sucks because you got me on Ghostbusters now, but in uh, the Xbox 360 back in the day released a Ghostbusters game. And in my opinion, it should have been the third movie. It was scripted well. It was written and, and starring the original cast. You know, it was just so well made. And I said, this is what it could have been. And then, um, you know, um, <laughs> the 360 game. It. Yeah, it was really good, though. You have to you when you play the story, you're like, this could have been a movie. Um, but then I, I forget his name right now. Egon, uh, it's not Reitman. I can't, uh, Raymond, I think. Right. I don't know. Ra- he, he passed. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. passed. Um, I can't remember he his was name a either. Writer, um, comedic writer and director. Uh, he did, uh, Multiplicity was one of his great movies that he did. That I always found funny, but, um, I can't remember his name right now. It's for the life of me, but getting back to your question was the comparison of Ghostbusters between the uh, or having the cameos. Yes. Um, well, to Harold Ram- this, this Ram- sh- Ramis. Thank you. Harold Ramis. Thank Harold you. Ramis. Thank you. That's what it is. Harold Ramis. So um, I can't believe I couldn't remember that. Um, but okay. when it comes to Fresh Prince, I don't feel like this is a show that I'm going to jump to see because I, I tend to avoid these teeny bopper dramas anyways. Um, teeny bo- I don't think it's going to be teeny bopper, but I get where anything, you're going. Anything that's in a high school environment, is teeny bopper <laughs> so uh, wow that, okay that's how i that's how i view it i mean you got smallville like that was you know that was a teeny bopper show and a lot of the cw shows like i said are all teeny boppers so i the mean idea, you you, you uh, keep putting it in that class of the show that you described all of us or whatever i don't this, i'm this not gonna is give us. it much, this is us whatever i'm not gonna give us. it that much credit i'm not gonna give it that much credit you know what i mean i feel like it's gonna be because when it, anytime like dawson's creek kind of thing you know what i mean like i'm gonna it's put it's not in gonna category. be it's not gonna be a dawson's creek do not put in that category but i will i already did of course it's ruined. you're an asshole you ruined it <laughs> i will definitely let you know what it's about um and then maybe we'll talk about it again in the future i'll get you to watch it but i still yeah. want you to watch the boys and i still need you to yeah. watch my hero academia all the way and i still need you to watch the boys season two (laughs) okay 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 we get it boys the boys we get it Uh, season three is coming matt i would love to see actually you know it'd be kind of funny i would be interested to see um the older cast come back and play like uh troublesome characters you know i think that'd be interesting Oh yeah, so. that's, that's just some an episode, and they're like troubled in some kind of way, and they're the focus of the yeah. episode or something. Yeah, yeah, Be like they're the ones trying to trying to get them in trouble or deadbeat dad or something. I'm not trying to, you know, you, put stereotypes on it, but I'm just you, saying it'd be interesting because Carlton was such a comedic, fun guy. It'd be interesting yeah, to see him now him play something dramatic. that you wouldn't expect. Yeah, well, would you since cast it's a dramatic show? Would you cast both Vivians? <laughs> uh, just maybe in some comedic fashion, you know, if they're gonna be fighting something uh, like I don't know, like mud wrestling or something. <laughs> well, we know that Will so that... apparently Will <laughs> Will got rid of her, right? The original Vivian, she he, they didn't work. Uh, they well had together. a falling out for sh- they had a falling out for sure, but um, was she I feel was she was she in they the, made uh, up though? Didn't they, they, did? they make okay. up in the yeah? I oh they no, they they, they they just did a uh, a reunion, so I'm curious. Reunion like, did special, they, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was she there? They made it sound like that's what they did oh mm. i don't know about both that's a good question probably yeah. i don't know i didn't watch it but mm. i know they, I, that was the time period that they were going to make it up and they did a memorial th- video service w- for um yeah, yeah. Th- um uncle phil's so i wonder if they were both were there too so right yeah well i mean uh i mean it's gonna be exciting to see one way or the other I, will smith you know um he's been somebody that's always done a good job with the stuff that he's done i've always appreciated the work he's done some of them haven't been that great you know but every actor has that one or two that's not the best but um you know if he's behind it uh he was the original fresh prince i i'm sure it's gonna be fine you know i'm sure it'll be popular um uh, I just hope it lasts, you know, stuff. I, we need good shows. There's, I feel like there's not a lot of good shows anymore. So I'm hoping no. this one's not too preachy and is just a good show. You know, we'll see. 
We'll look forward to it. I'm well. Well said, Matt. Thanks. Thanks. So, uh, do you have any final thoughts, or is that it for you? Oh no, I thought you were going to end it right. That was a perfect spot to end you, it. But now you. No, just I like ruined. to ruin the. I like you to just, ruin the endings. You ruin the endings. Well, I, I want you to get the, your final say well, all the time. I, you know. That's why I said thank you. Um, that was <laughs> that was my final say. But you know, I ruined the intros, so you got to ruin the outros. <laughs> that's that's how it works. Entertainment. Venture. That's fine. All no, right, well, I, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, you're gonna not watch it and I'll let you know if it's good or not and then you won't take my word for it because like you'll say Joel you right. liked such and such you'll be like oh. <laughs> no I'll get around to it eventually when the hype is down that's when I'll watch it so no, as you do right so um, on that note thank you for listening to Entertainment Banter my name is Matt and I believe my name is Joel and I'm done thank you for listening mom There's another one coming up next.